Hello and welcome to another brand breakdown. I'm Elijah Delport and the brand we're looking at today is called 3AM. Now this is an Australian brand. They're very successful here in Australia and of course I'm sure they ship internationally as well. But anyway, there's something that I love about this brand and the thing I love most is how clear their branding is. You've probably heard me say it before and I'll say it again that you're not a brand without branding. That's why we call ourselves streetwear brands. It's because the branding is the center of everything that we do. And so this branding of, uh, of 3AM is so focused. It's so focused and specific. You can see there is such a common string through their entire page. Every output that they make, everything that they put out to the world is so focused. Um, and so... Like, let's just have a look into some of this content. Like, this here. There is, like, this is the kind of stuff that has nothing to do with their clothing product and just everything to do with their brand. And, like, you look at the, the post like this. Maybe, I mean, maybe this one's a bit different. Um, but, like, this kind of stuff is really, like, they're just creating a mood board for their branding. They're creating a mood board for their branding. And it means that anyone that comes across 3AM's page, 3AM's brand, and they like their aesthetic, what they do is they will come to their Instagram page, which is like really just the first landing page that anyone might come to, and they it, it becomes very clear very quickly their aesthetic. And so th this, I really love this kind of content. It's like mood board stuff because you can post this when you aren't dropping clothes. If you have a very specific aesthetic with your brand, you don't need to be releasing a collection to post. And that's really important to have that ability because that means that you can be growing an audience around your brand when you aren't posting, when, sorry, when you aren't dropping clothes. Because a lot of brands find themselves in a start-stop cycle where if they're not dropping their, their clothing, well, they haven't got anything to post and therefore they're not able to build their audience for the next drop however 3am has made it very easy to do that and so my my challenge with with this is for you to really specifically define what your branding is um and like start with a message start with a message or an idea or a lifestyle and then think to yourself what does that look like and so for 3am you know their lifestyle could be 3 3am 3 or their, that's their message. And so what they've, like, the brand owner's clearly gone, okay, what does it look like to have, like, what does 3 a.m. look like? You know, just that idea of 3 a.m., like the early hours of the morning. And it's kind of, it's very edgy. It's it's kind of like, um, you know, no one's out. Um, there's a lot of dark imagery here. And, and so you can see how the, having that initial theme brings out the branding. Now, I want to show you something else that they've done. Um, here in this post here, they've got an official playlist release. And what this is, it's just a Spotify playlist of music. It's curated music. Again, that they're drawing inspiration from the theme to find songs that fit that theme. Now, the power of this is that if you create a playlist on Spotify, for example, that's actually really good, you'll have people that are, that are tuning in and listening to it frequently. Now, why is that relevant to you? Well, the thing is, every time someone listens to a playlist, they're going to think of you and your brand. And so, simply by popping up and staying front of mind on a daily basis, you are more likely to increase the number of sales per customer. Because think about it, if I get to the point where, oh man, like I need some new clothes, my wardrobe's getting a little bit dry then I'm going to go to the, the common places. I'm going to stick to my tendencies of, where, of, of what's front of mind for the brands that I'm following right now. And just having, having those other touch points just beyond Instagram or beyond your clothing, as in frequent touch points, 
means that you'll always stay front of mind. And when that time comes, they'll buy from you. So this is really important. And also it just helps the branding. It helps this image that you're creating around your streetwear brand being more than just the clothing and being about an idea. In this case, it's 3M. You've got like ideas of, of, um, of dark imagery, of fire. They've got, you know, um, part of this is dogs, snakes. It's danger. It's edgy. It's um, fringe. And it's, it's uh, you know, like there's so many things you can pull from this. So this is a fantastic brand. Even look at this, Born in the Night. Like that's, it's not even just in their bio. That is the the name, the, the username that they put for their brand, Born in the Night. So it's a, it's a great catchphrase, something you can, you can remember. So yeah, take some inspiration from 3AM. See how you can turn your theme into a mood board on your uh on your instagram page or maybe even think about if my theme was music what kind of songs would they be um and there's so many ways you can go about that so just some tips for you stay front of mind and uh yeah let's take this th streetwear 365 i'll see you for another brand breakdown